G'day guys, this is Tia, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Now, multi pelleted weapons like shotguns, harpoon guns, or beam splitted energy weapons function a little bit strangely. Definitely different from single fire weapons within this game. But then again, so do weapons with the legendary effect known as two shot. And weapons in this game especially function oddly when you have both a multi pelleted weapon that also has the two shot legendary effect attached onto it. And the main question asked by the community revolving around these weapons is usually, how many projectiles do they fire? So in this video, I'm going to answer all of that and more. Let's get straight into it. First of all, let me explain what multi pelleted weapons are, and then list all of them for you guys. multi pelleted weapons are ranged weapons that fire more than one projectile. It's not a very hard concept to grasp. There are many weapons in Fallout 76 that fire more than one projectile, either through its natural functionality like a shotgun, or through a modification like the beam splitter when placed on a laser rifle or Gatling plasma, or even when any weapon generates with the two shot legendary effect. Here I am going to list off each and every multi pelleted weapon, show off how many projectiles they fire per shot with proof, and then also explain how these weapons work with the two shot legendary effect as there appears to be a lot of confusion in the community when it comes to multi pelleted weapons in combination with the two shot legendary effect, at least when it comes to the total projectile count of these weapons. And now let's firstly talk about the two shot legendary effect itself. It does not double your weapons projectile count, like some people may say. It simply adds a singular projectile to your weapons projectile count, as you can see here. And I'll explain on this further with examples, so keep this in mind while moving forward further into the explanations. Starting off with, we have shotguns. Now all shotguns in this game fire 8 projectiles. All of them do, including the double barrel shotgun, the pump action, the combat, and the gauss shotgun. Every single shotgun in this game fires 8 projectiles, as you can see from this image. All shotguns have a projectile count of 8. Now there's nothing you can do to change this. A shotgun will always fire 8 projectiles unless you find one with the 2 shot legendary effect. Then it will actually fire 9 projectiles instead of 8. Like I said earlier, the 2 shot effect only adds a singular projectile to your weapon's projectile count. It does not double it. So no, a 2 shot shotgun does not fire 16 projectiles like some people may believe and have spread throughout the community. It simply fires 9. Now let's talk about the laser rifle. Now on its own, by itself, it fires just a single laser beam. One projectile, to put it simply. But if you add on the beam splitter barrel modification, it will then fire five laser beams per shot, and this image shows just that. This is the coding for the laser beam splitter on laser rifles. It simply just adds four laser beams to the already existing laser beam, totaling five. Now, if it were to be a two-shot laser rifle, it would then fire six projectiles with that beam splitter, not ten projectiles. Next up is the harpoon gun. Again, normally this weapon just fires a single projectile, but modifying it with the flechette mods will turn it into a shotgun type weapon, changing the projectile count from one to seven. And this one's a bit different with its coding. It does not simply add six to the one that was already present to total seven, Instead, what it does is it just sets the total projectiles outright to 7, which makes no difference in the grand scheme of things, but it is worth pointing out nonetheless. And obviously, once again, if this harpoon gun were to have both the flechette mod attached and also the two-shot legendary effect, it would fire 8 projectiles, not 14. Next up is plasma rifles. These are almost identical to the laser rifle, but I will go over it anyway. Normally, the plasma rifle will fire one bolt of plasma per pull of the trigger, no matter what barrel you have attached, excluding, of course, the splitter barrel. Once this is attached, the splitter plasma rifle will fire six bolts of plasma per shot, as you can see here, where it adds five plasma bolts to the existing one already present, totaling six. And obviously, a two-shot variant with the splitter barrel would fire seven bolts of plasma instead of six, not twelve. Next up is the Gatling Plasma. Now this one's tricky and I'll explain why in a second, but the unmodded Gatling Plasma will fire one bolt of plasma per shot. But if you equip it with the Beam Splitter modification, it will turn into a flamethrower type of weapon. 
Now, despite the mods giving no indication that this would convert it into a flamethrower type of weapon, here we are with a Gatling Plasma Flamethrower. Except for one thing. While it might visually shoot green plasmid fire, the modification wasn't lying. It still splits the flames into five separate flame projectiles. The reason for this was so that it could have the effect of a flamethrower, but it would cover a much larger surface area. So yes, to put it simply, it does fire five jettisons of green flame. We can observe this very easily with a legendary explosive version of a Gatling Plasma, because the explosive effect is a projectile override that turns them into hit scan explosive projectiles, which makes it very, very much easier for us to observe and count the number of pellets being fired per shot. And as the image shows right here with actual in-game coding proof, it simply adds four projectiles onto the existing one, totaling five projectiles being fired. And obviously, once again, the two-shot effect does not double this projectile count from five to ten, Nope, it simply adds a single projectile onto everything, meaning we now fire 6 jettisons of green fire, or 6 projectiles if you have the explosive version. And next up on the list is the Dragon Rifle. This little bastard actually fires 4 pellets of 50 caliber balls. As you can see in the reload animations, you do pod all 4 barrels with a single 50 caliber ball, but oddly enough you only ever use 1 ball per shot ammunition wise which tends to create some confusion within the community. <laughs> but as you can see here with this data mind image, the dragon does indeed shoot four projectiles per shot. And following the same trend throughout this video, if you were to have a two shot legendary variant of the dragon, you would not double your projectile count from four to eight. No, instead you simply add one projectile, making it shoot five pellets per pull of the trigger. Then we have the Tesla shotgun. And funnily enough, this does not actually count as a shotgun at the moment, but merely is a rifle with a multi-projectile enhancing barrel mod. Much like the laser rifle and plasma rifle beam splitters. But anyway, the Tesla shotgun fires 5 projectiles, or in this case 5 rods of electricity, and as the image shows on screen, the mod works the same way as the other beam splitters. Simply adding 4 projectiles onto the existing one, totaling 5. And as usual, it's easier to see individual rods of lightning if the weapon is actually explosive. As always, if this weapon was two shot, it would only add one projectile, not doubling it, bringing our total projectile count up to six if two shot was added on. And finally, we have the Fat Man. More specifically, we have the Fat Man with the Merv launcher attachment. Now this one's an exception. It initially fires one mini nuke, into the air, which then splits its payload into five mini nukes. So, five mini nukes in total come out of this behemoth of a weapon when fired, as you can see with these two images, showing that the shots fired is indeed one, but converts the projectile into the Fat Man Merv mini nukes, which then splits itself into a total of five mini nukes. And keep this in mind because the fact that it splits into other mini nukes while traveling through the air creates a unique property when combined with the two-shot legendary effect. Now, a nuke Merv launcher with the two-shot effect will actually double its total payload to 10 mini nukes instead of five. I know, kind of the opposite of what I've been preaching this whole video, but there is a reason for this and this is the only case where this happens, and I'll explain why. The Merv initially fires one mini nuke, which then after a few seconds of air travel time, splits into its multi-nuke projectile payload. And since upon initially firing the weapon, it begins its travel journey as a singular mini nuke that then splits into five, then clearly if two were fired via the two shot legendary effect, obviously it would have doubled the initial shot and then double the outward payload, since there are two mini nukes that will both eject their five mini nukes out of the original payload, totaling 10 mini nukes launched. It's confusing, I know, but just take it like this. Regular mini nukes, shoot one, and then when you put a Merv on it, it shoots five, and then if that is two shot, it shoots ten. It's as simple as that. Let's also touch on the damage of these shotgun-esque weapons. The damage output for both naturally multi-pelleted weapons like shotguns, and weapons that turn into multi-pelleted weapons through mods like the harpoon gun and laser rifle are a little bit confusing to some people. In Fallout New Vegas, however, it was simple. 
The Pip Boy showing exactly how much damage the weapon would do, as well as how many projectiles it would fire, and how much damage each projectile would do. Like right here, the Riot Shotgun in Fallout New Vegas would do 12.1 damage per projectile, which in this case is 7 projectiles, totaling 84.7 damage if all projectiles hit, which is a very well thought out system for multi piloted weapons, and I think they should adopt a similar system in Fallout 76, because right now we just have the total damage displayed for the weapon in the Pip Boy. This is the damage that we would all achieve if every single pellet were to hit the target. So the damage of our Pip Boy is still spread out evenly amongst our pellets in game, it just doesn't show us that this happens in the Pip Boy. For example, if our shotgun were to do 100 damage in the Pip Boy, then that would mean you would most likely see a bunch of 13 damage numbers pop up when you shoot an enemy, assuming all pellets hit of course and that the enemy has no damage resistance. And this is because it would be 8 pellets that all equally have taken that base 100 damage number and divided it amongst themselves equally. And this can be confusing for some new players that may see these smaller damage numbers and not quite understand the way damage works for these multi piloted weapons. But just to reiterate to make it super super simple, your damage with multi piloted weapons is evenly divided amongst your projectiles. Let's also talk about how the two shot legendary effect works damage wise. It has gone through a lot of nerfs and changes, but as it stands right now at the time of making this video, when the two shot legendary effect is on a ranged weapon, it increases the weapon's base damage by 25%. But the kicker is you only get that bonus 25% damage actually applied to your weapon if both of the projectiles you shoot hit the target. So make sure you're accurate if you choose to use one of these. Which may be hard since the two shot legendary effect also increases your recoil and weapon spread by 25%. So yeah, good luck. The only exception is with naturally explosive launcher weapons like Fat Man, Grenade Launcher, and Missile Launchers. For whatever reason, when these launcher weapons have the two-shot legendary effect, they gain double the damage when both projectiles hit the target, instead of that extra 25% damage that they should receive. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Now, that is every single weapon in the game at this point in time that does fire multiple projectiles. I've given you the projectile count for each weapon for when they are both in a regular state of existence and for when they have the two shot legendary effect as well. Now, having said all of this, I should touch on the fact that literally all other weapons in the game that I did not mention that are naturally single projectile weapons can have the two shot legendary effect as well, which will then make them, as the name suggests, a two shot projectile firing weapon. These examples include, but are not limited to, things like the combat rifle, the handmade, 10mm pistols, auto grenade launchers, flamethrowers, miniguns, pipe weapons, and hunting rifles, and so on. These types of weapons, and many many more, will go from one projectile to two projectiles with the two shot legendary effect, as the name implies. Which is self explanatory, but I feel some people will need this explained for them, so there you go. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for me. A massive shout out to all my current channel members and Patreons. Thank you all so much for your continued support on the channel. A friendly reminder to follow my social medias in the description below, and be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed and want to see more from me. I've been Tia, and I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.